Here's how narcissists leave deep wounds and sabotage the lives of empaths. Empaths are able to feel emotions, whilst narcissists are unable to do so. Empaths are honest, do not need to lie, and don't need to demonstrate authority in their actions. They share, think of others, love profoundly, and care about others. Narcissists are the polar opposite of empaths in every way. Empaths are unique individuals full of compassion towards others, but they're frequently the targets of narcissistic abuse. The incessant drama and suffering that narcissists inflict are humiliating and demeaning for those around them and even more for empaths. At a point, empaths may be concerned that they possess a fatal fault that makes them attractive to narcissists. But despite that, it's possible that the fault is a blessing in disguise if we think that in a positive way. Understanding the potential damage early on will save us a lot of time from going through emotional pain and mental exhaustion. So, here's how narcissists will sabotage an empath's life and eventually leave a deep wound. But, before that please, help us to gain more exposure by clicking that like button below. Don't forget to share this video everywhere you can, and consider to subscribe if you're new here. Number 1. They make you dependent on them by showering you with love and romantic words. Creating a misguided sense of dependency and devotion is standard practice for narcissists who turn into all their victims could ever want in the beginning, only to convert into their worst fears later on. Eventually, you become more vulnerable to being used and exploited for the purposes of the narcissist's agenda. Even when you realize it, everything is already falling. Love bombing is a term used to describe how narcissists begin their relationships by bombarding their partners with excessive amounts of contact, flattery, admiration and attention. They employ love bombing to persuade their victims to gain their trust and investment in a created future together, one that they have no intention to do so. Once the empath has become sufficiently enthralled, they remove them from their pedestals leading their victims to put the most effort to bring back the loving part of the relationship. Number 2. They keep lying to you so they can stay ahead of you. They lie because it allows them to stay one step ahead of the game and maintain their competitive edge. They are constantly repositioning themselves to get an advantage. Their main goal is to make you stay in the dark or to second-guess your decisions continually, and eventually, you can't decide on anything. They never let you know what they're up to, and you can only trust them blindly because if you don't, trouble comes. It's highly usual for them to maintain two or more other identities and even conceal several affairs. They're also prone to overestimate their own integrity and character, as well as lying about their own. Number 3. Alluringly Fake Promises Narcissists tend to make big promises they can't keep. For example, they may promise you a great marriage, family, financial support, whatever it is that they believe is most important to you. The narcissist promises a greater future if you first satisfy their desire. The narcissist has rigged the game such that you are set up to fail while they win from any form of future faking or promises. 4. Smear Campaigns this is a sort of manipulation designed to keep the narcissist's schemes remain a secret from the general public. They do everything they can in an effort to avoid responsibility for their acts by portraying you as the abuser. It's possible to initiate smear campaigns by saying outright lies about the empath, spreading false rumors or suggestions that cast doubt on the empath's mind, or even fabricating false evidence in order to keep them isolated from other people. Although it may be difficult, Try not to show any signs of emotional sensitivity in front of others. Narcissists will exploit your emotional responses to paint you as the one who is mad. Assert only the facts if someone accuses you of something you didn't do. You don't need to say anything. The proof is enough. Number 5. They gaslight you to control your reality and eventually exhaust you. Gaslighting is a subtle attack on your ability to discern the truth from fiction. When a narcissist gaslights you, you may be subjected to crazy-making arguments in which your thoughts, emotions, perceptions, and sanity are questioned and invalidated. As a result, your attempts to find assurance and confirmation in your experiences are destroyed. 
Although you may think it's helping you heal your relationship with them, it's because they make you think so. While in reality, they're slowly eroding your confidence and making you lose yourself. A variety of tactics can be used to gaslight you, ranging from making insinuations about your mental health to openly contesting your personal narratives. Well, I hope this brief explanation can help you gain more understanding related to narcissists' characteristics and their manipulative tendencies. So, what's your opinion about this? If you enjoyed watching this one, please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Consider subscribing to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thank you.